Welcome back to another movie review. Today we're diving into the world of martial arts with the 1985 film Pray for Death. Although this flick might not be to everyone's taste, it does have its merits. So let's get into it and see why I've given this film a 7 out of 10 rating and why I still recommend giving it a watch. Pray for Death follows Akira Saito, a Japanese businessman and former ninja who moves his family to America in search of a better life. However, their peaceful life is disrupted when they find themselves caught in the middle of a violent crime ring. As the danger escalates, Saito must once again embrace his ninja skills to protect his family and bring justice to the criminals. The movie's premise is intriguing, and while it doesn't break any new ground, it does a decent job of keeping the viewer engaged. The setting is also used effectively, showing the stark contrast between the peaceful life Saito envisioned and the gritty reality of the criminal underworld. Sho Kosugi, who stars as Akira Saito, delivers a solid performance as both a devoted family man and a skilled ninja warrior. His on-screen presence is magnetic and his martial arts skills are undeniably impressive. The supporting cast also does a good job in their roles, bringing life to the story and making the movie more engaging. Where Pray for Death truly shines is in its action sequences and martial arts choreography. The fight scenes are well executed with a good balance of intensity and realism. Shokosugi's physicality and expertise in martial arts make these scenes thrilling and entertaining to watch. If you're a fan of ninjas and martial arts movies, you'll certainly appreciate the efforts put into crafting these sequences. The cinematography in Pray for Death is serviceable with some interesting shots and angles that help elevate the storytelling. The pacing, however, can be a bit uneven at times. Some scenes drag on longer than necessary, while others feel rushed. Nonetheless, the film manages to maintain a good overall momentum, making it enjoyable for the most part. In conclusion, Pray for Death may not be a perfect film, but it offers an entertaining experience with memorable martial arts sequences and a decent story. Though it may not be everyone's cup of tea, I give it a 7 out of 10 and recommend giving it a watch. You might just find yourself pleasantly surprised by this 1980s martial arts gem.